A telephoto lens with a tripod for your iPhone and soap shaped like a piece of poop. It's episode 23 of Loot. Wake up in your warm Nintendo knee-high socks and put on your fancy superhero bow tie, along with these sunglasses from Spencer's with a neat hanging mustache. Then, climb a rock wall installed so that when you fall, you just take a dive. In this fire pit, it's shaped like the world. Squirrel mask. Now what's this? Ooh, nice, a Spock bathrobe. They've also got Captain Kirk, but minimal superheroes now come on t-shirts. Of course, this t-shirt makes you look rich. Except by rich, I mean geeky. I was kidding. Here's a nice mug to get for your friend. Again, I was kidding. Keep the table safe with giant Scrabble coasters, and keep your lips moist with unicorn farts. Lip balm flavored like cotton candy and spearmint. These aren't for sale, but check out normal stuffed animals, bought secondhand, inverted, and then made into cute inside out cuddly animals. You also can't buy this pancake quilt with bacon accessory because it's sold out, so keep the bacon sweet with that 19's bacon pops, hard candy infused with bacon bits, or be sweeter with a candy necklace flavored like bacon. Back to pancakes, William Sonoma offers molds to make Star Wars shaped pancakes. And if you have $50 and an out of this world taste, pick up some exquisite gourmet chocolates shaped like the planets. Or go darker with these anatomically accurate skulls made of chocolate. Here's a fluffy nuclear mushroom cloud that's actually a lamp. Shapeways.com also offers a necklace sporting a loop made of a single curled piece of metal that locks in a ball, or your very own strand beast. A sculpture that when pushed or pulled automatically appears to walk. Oh, and this battle mug has scope rails so you can soup it up with all your equipment. This is why I'm Broke pointed me toward a Zelda Sword USB drive and Rage face masks. Pop Chart Lab does it again with this amazing graph poster of rap names organized by common themes. Now I've seen negatively engraved rings before, but this one from The Cheeky is great. All day it pushes against your skin, so when you try and be sneaky and remove it, your finger carries the mark, I'm married. Totus Mel creates jewelry with lace. One of my favorites is the mask, but don't forget the ankle corsets. Drink some liquid from a can that's actually a porcelain mug, and then solve puzzles from V-Cube. Not six-sided, six-colored ones, but two-colored cubes that let you have a checkerboard shape, or my favorite, flags. With two colors, they've got Poland, Denmark, Finland, and Sweden, but with three colors, they've got Belgium, France, Germany, Hungary, Italy, Netherlands, and Russia. Here's an eraser shaped like the evolution of man, and Japan Trend Shop brings us 1010 Dama, like a switch hit, an awesomely designed toy that when thrown in the air seemingly magically inverts itself. Think Geek has Captain Jewel's rings, which unfold into a telescope. But now for your free thing, two things actually, Cubecraft offers free printouts you cut, fold, and glue or tape into fun characters and shapes. Once you've done that, make them dance to Mario Paint using the composer for PC or Mac, just like the one in the original SNES game. Rezoner DJ recommended Cyberdog's cybernetic jewelry, like this headset. And Tokyo Flash offers bizarrely awesome high-tech watches that look like things aliens have left behind. Their newest is like a stencil. See, this one says that it's 1204. As you may remember, six loots ago, I mentioned them. Well, they found out, thought it was awesome, and now they've set it up so that until the end of April, if you buy a watch using code BSTF, you get $10 off. So how about that? Keep being Vsaucy, and as always, thanks for watching.